Bolton. Coach, want to make an opening statement? Yeah, hey, UConn was just uh, terrific tonight. And, uh, you know, we didn't, didn't have any answers, especially when kind of everything uh, uh, really didn't bounce our way. And, and uh, uh, you know, we can't absorb a game like that when our offense is uh, as bad as it was uh, uh, tonight. But again, UConn deserves credit. And I, I got to see them way back in the PK-85. They were great then, and they were certainly great tonight. Okay, raise your hands. We'll bring you a microphone. Questions for coach or the student athletes. Right here in the center, Jay. This one is for Coach uh, Jay Thomas with UNLV TV. Uh, reflecting on the success of Gonzaga, Gonzaga basketball um, from being uh, an assistant coach under Coach Monson and just leading the Zags to the, being the only team to lead them to the Sweet 16 eight straight years, um, what is the secret to the consistency that you in this program have? We've just had a, a tremendous run of great players like, like these guys. They're winners. We've had a great run of winners. As I told them in there, like, I mean, uh, I, I, and personally, that I think this is 24 years of being a head coach. I've never had a team get this much better over the course of a year. I mean, and again, take away this last uh, two hours. But prior to that, uh, um, where, from where we were in November to, to where we were two hours ago was uh, just an incredible journey and, and a bunch of fun because they were coachable and, and willing to work and, and willing to you know, do what we asked them. So, I mean, they, they deserve all the credit and all the other team, all the other guys that played on those teams deserve all the credit. Okay, right back here. Yeah, Kevin Sweeney with Sports Illustrated. For, for Drew, I saw you pull the team aside before you guys headed down the tunnel um, post game. Curious if you'd share what your message was to the team. I uh, just told them we had a hell of a year. Uh, I was proud of them. I loved them. Wouldn't want to do this journey with anyone else. And kind of what Coach said, I don't think anybody thought we would make it this far this year. Just the stuff that we overcame as a group and how how we just stayed together, I think, speaks volumes to who we are as people more than players. And I was just told them, I just was so proud of them and just to thank everyone that supported us because we didn't do this alone. It was with the help of all the fans and everyone that just cheered us on. It's, uh, it was a special year. Mark, uh, Mark Anderson, AP, uh, Drew, I know you're not really a reflective guy and certainly right now you're not thinking about all you've accomplished, but do you think next few weeks, months, whatever, that it, that point might come at some point? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't, yeah. There you go. Other questions in the room? OK, Mark, follow up here. Uh, the the uh, fourth foul. Um, do you, what did you think about the call? Do you, and do you think uh, obviously UConn was the better team? But do you think that altered the tone of the game? Look, I mean, we can say what what if, right? What if they didn't call a foul? What if? But I mean, the bottom line is they were the better team tonight. They made more shots. They got the fifty fifty balls. So regardless of what we want to say, what ifs? Like the refs did not control that game as unfortunate as it may have been. I mean, they they were the better team tonight. Other questions in the room? We'll take a couple off of Zoom. We're going to go to Dan Tortora. Tortora, wake up call DT.com. For the student athletes, just what you could say about Mark Few as, as a leader and just what you've taken from his leadership this season specifically on the road to the Sweet 16 and into this game tonight. Um, you know, Coach Few is a great coach. Um, He's pushed us so hard this year. Um, you know, him and Drew, they always bump heads sometimes, you know, but um, that's just the joy of getting better. And, you know, at the beginning of the season, we thought it was going to be tough. Um, thought it was going to be a long season and didn't know how many games we were going to win, but um, just kept getting better week by week, practice by practice. And, you know, he kept reminding us that. And, you know, we made it this far. And I'm just really proud, proud of my teammates and all the coaches. Uh, I would say the same as I would say the same as Ton. Uh, you know, he's he's you know gotten us better throughout this whole season. As you guys have seen, you know, we couldn't have made this run without him. And I I appreciate him for bringing me in these last two years of my career and uh, you know, helped me be a part of something bigger than myself. So I mean, I appreciate Coach Few. He's a great leader, and 
and yeah. Um, he just he means the world to me. I mean, he's believed in me. He's believed in us. He's he's always pushing us to be the best version of ourselves in every area of life. He he holds you accountable, but he loves you as well. And um, I don't think words do justice to what he's meant to me and, and this team, especially especially when things don't go as well. You know, you find out who people really are when the grass isn't always the greenest. And he, he stayed true to who he was. And, um, you know, we butt heads or whatever. But, like, I love this man forever. And um, I would never want to play for another coach. Down front. Uh, Theo Lawson from the Spokesman Review. Rozier, can you just talk about the, the challenge of their guards and uh, really kind of deep, talented group, and especially uh, Jordan Hawkins? Uh, yeah, I think their uh, I think their guards control the game tonight. Uh, Jordan Hawkins definitely had a big one. Uh, he's a great big time shooter. Uh, so we had, we were trying to stay lock and trail on him on pin downs, but he was getting loose. And then in transition, they were running. And they just uh, they hit a lot of shots tonight. So uh, it was a lot to handle. But uh, yeah, they just hit a lot of shots. Adam. Uh, Adam Hill, Las Vegas, review journal for Anton. Just uh, how deflating was it when Drew picked up the fourth foul and went to the bench? And and I guess what were you guys trying to say to to get it together? And they they went on a quick quick run, obviously. Uh, yeah, it sucks. Um, when Drew got his fourth foul, um, you, you don't really want to see that that early in the second half. Um, but you, you try to stay positive, um, brought the team together, and you know you just try to keep positive thoughts and try to keep chipping away at that lead. But um, yeah, it's hard when Drew goes out. Okay, we're going to take one on Zoom from Christopher Heidel. Hey, this is Chris Idell from Herbertson Radio in Baltimore. Sorry for that tough loss tonight. This question is for Drew. Drew, you've been at you know, Gonzaga for a very long time. Uh, I know you're going to probably take a couple months to think about you know, your career. What would you think about your time at Gonzaga? Um, I'm just so thankful that a program and a place took me for who I was. They didn't ask me to be anybody but myself. And just so appreciative for... Uh, the program and just the people, the fans that just watched me grow up and just become the man I am today. And um, I'm forever in debt for Gonzaga, just the love I have for just everyone that helped me and made this journey so special and so fun. I, I just don't think I can ever repay that. And um, while this ride might not have ended how we wanted it to, it's it's more about the journey, the relationships, the good, the bad, the ugly. That's what makes makes these things so emotional is how much how much you put into something, you know? And um, I'll do anything for Gonzaga. I always will. I mean, this isn't a good bias. It's a see you later. I always want to be around the program, coach. Like, I just, it's a special place. It's a special program. And, um, you know, I, I wouldn't want to do this with anyone else. I, I loved it here. Dan. Yeah, Dan Walken, USA Today. Uh, Mark, when you look at next week, what, what, is a team going to need to beat this UConn team the way they're playing right now? You're talking about moving on to the Final Four? Is that what you're talking about, teams? Yeah. That, uh, yeah. Oh, man. I mean, that, listen, they're, they're – uh, again, like I said, I hate to be a broken record here, but I saw them in uh, November, and uh, I just thought they were such a complete team there. they got great size. They have depth. Their bigs are different, so they bring different qualities. Obviously, their guards are, are, are really talented. Uh, Hawkins is just a terrific uh, catch-and-shoot guy. We knew that coming in. And I tell you what, what's really hard is, especially if they get through that first one, that short prep for them, because uh, there's just there's just so much they do. They have ball screen actions you have to go over. They have, are you going to double the post? I mean, he's very effective at dribbling. I thought we did a really nice job on Sonago, actually. Uh, Anton deserves a ton of credit for that. So does Ben Gregg. I mean, these are two, you know, basically fours that we asked to, to guard him inside. Uh, and, and then, but then they surround him with shooters, and they're very different. Jackson is a different player. Uh, Caravan is a great catch and shoot kind of stretch four. It's a lot. It's a lot. But you know, there's you know, we've played Texas. Texas is still looming out there somewhere. They'll have to get through their game tomorrow and. Uh, uh, you know, obviously Florida Atlantic's having a magical, magical uh, uh, year, and, and uh, so we'll see. You know, it would have been great if we would have played as good as we're capable of. Obviously, UConn had some things to do with that, but we just missed a, we missed a lot of shots tonight. Missed free throws, missed runners, missed uh, 
open threes. It just wasn't our night. Adam. Las Vegas Review Journal again. Uh, Coach, I guess, did you see the play on that they called the fourth foul on Drew live? And, and what did they tell you afterwards? I didn't see it at all. I didn't see it at all. So, man, I mean, I didn't, I didn't bother looking at the replay. It was what it was. And then we just had to deal with the aftermath, which wasn't pretty. Anything else in the room for Coach or the student athletes? We're going to take one more on Zoom from Dan Tortora. Dan Tortora, Wake Up Call, DT.com. Coach, you know, we've heard you say a lot about Drew and his time at Gonzaga, but from the moment that he walked into the program to where he sits next to you today, just what you can say about his evolution as a person, as a player, and what he's meant to this program forever. Well, I mean, again, I'll stand by it. I think he's one of the greatest players. Obviously, this shouldn't be the memory etch that we even think about, but... I think he's one of the greatest college players in this modern era. If you look at how much he's won uh, during his career, and he's won at the highest level he's produced. I mean, I hope what probably should be readily apparent to everyone now is if something would have happened to Drew Timmy earlier in this season, where, where would we have been? Okay, I mean, we leaned on him as hard as we've ever leaned on uh, a player, and he just delivered time and time and time again took us all the way to the brink of a Final Four. But, I mean, that's just a small piece of it. I mean, he's he's a bigger-than-life character. Like he said, he was himself the whole time here. Uh, it was a blast to coach him. Uh, he was easy to coach because he was tough, you know. And they talk about button heads. I mean, we didn't butt heads that much. I mean, he's, he's so – he's tough. He loves to compete. I love to compete. Um, so, I mean, we, we get it. And uh, – it was a hell of a good time walking out on the practice floor with him every time or walk, hopping on a jet. or, uh, And I'm sure we're going to have a lot of good times moving forward. So uh, uh, it's been quite a ride. I hope everybody remembers him for the great competitor he was and just the awesome player that he was. Coach, thank you, and congratulations on a great season. Thank you, yep. guys, all.